All right, yo guys, what's going on? It's Rage, and here for today's video, I'm bringing you guys the Plutonium T5 Black Ops 1 installation tutorial. Now, thankfully, because it's Plutonium, all of these installation tutorials are very, very similar. It's as simple as just setting the game path in the Plutonium launcher. However, though, there are a few things that I do want to go ahead and mention. Right on launch of this client, there is no unlock all. I'll show you guys the command for that. There's currently also a bug where the cursor isn't showing up. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to fix that. And just as a quick reminder, again, feel free to go ahead and follow Plutonium on Twitter and also join it to their discord so if there's a comment or a question that you guys have that I can't answer Pluto is gonna have all sorts of support channels ready to go in their discord if you guys have a question that again I can't answer so the first thing I want to go ahead and cover if you guys already have black ops 1 on Steam if you guys have it installed all ready to go and including all of the DLCs the only thing you guys need to do click on your game settings come over here to select directory it should be wherever you have your black ops 1 installed which to me I have all my games here on my Steam which is on my hard drive the D drive storage Steam, Steam apps, common, just click on Black Ops and you're ready to go. Select folder, that's it. It is worth mentioning though that the only thing you have to do is just click on it one time and then hit select folder and you're good to go. However, if you don't have Black Ops 1 on Steam, I'm sorry to tell you, but it's not as simple as, uh, for example, downloading the MW3 dedicated server where it gives you the entire full game if you didn't own MW3 already here on Steam. The uh, tools, uh, the mod tools and the remote console do not give you the full game. Plutonium has provided the full files here for the, the full rec T5 client, to which this is another thing worth mentioning. If you guys were curious as to what happened to Rec T5, the original client of it, it has now merged with Plutonium. So what we're going to have to do here is open our handy dandy, completely free, totally not torrenting qubit torrent program. All you're going to do is click this little plus icon and open the torrent file, Pluto T5 full game, click open, and here where it says save at, click on this little folder. Now, if you want, you can save it to wherever you want. I have a backup right here on the desktop just to show you guys as an example, but the best way that I would go ahead and recommend doing this is just go ahead and put it with the rest of wherever you have your Steam games installed. So again, I have mine here on my D drive. You can go ahead, create a new folder and call it uh, bo one Pluto if you want. Go ahead, make sure that the folder is highlighted, click select folder and then start OK. Now again, because I already have the full game installed, I'm not going to do it, but you're going to go ahead and see the game downloading. And then once it says status 100%, you're done. To which your directory should look something like this. Call of Duty Black Ops is right here. You can go ahead and click on zone, common, and here's all the maps. You've already got all the DLC installed and you're ready to go. So the way that you would link it in the plutonium launcher again i'm gonna go ahead and relink mine so again here where it says t5 wrecked again this is the one here on my desktop you're just gonna highlight click it one time call duty black ops select folder and you're ready to go now if you were someone like me who initially owned black ops one on steam but didn't have the dlcs the way that you go about torrenting the dlcs is the exact same way go ahead click the little icon click dlc put a folder wherever you want again i have it right here on the desktop it's a very small download it's only like two gigs so it's not going to take you very long at all the way to go about installing the dlc once it's all done and downloaded you're going to have a folder here called T5 All DLCs. Go ahead and open it. You're going to have two subfolders called Main and Zone. Here in the main folder, you have these IW26 through 41. What you're going to do is come over to wherever you have Call of Duty Black Ops installed. Click on your main. Again, because I already have all the files here, you're just going to go ahead, highlight them all, and drag them all over. That's it. Same exact thing here with the video folder. You're going to go ahead and open it. Go ahead and do the same here in your Call of Duty Black Ops directory and just copy and paste just like that. It's the exact same process with the zone. You're going to go ahead and open it. There's a folder called common here inside common contains all of the dlc maps and the zombies maps again come over here to your call of duty black ops directory click on zone common and again just copy paste and drag that's it i can't stress this enough because i feel like there's a lot of players on these clients that don't have dlc and will always get kicked out of dlc games it is completely for free please play the dlc look at me here for a second i promise you there is more to a client like iw4x than terminal there is more to these black ops clients than nuketown you can play other maps i promise I promise you they are free. Please play the DLC. It is so worth it. So again, at this point in time, you should have absolutely installed everything ready to go. Again, go ahead and click on game settings, directory. Here again, common Call of Duty Black Ops because I have everything set to my Steam version of Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm just going to highlight it one time, hit select folder, and I'm ready to go. Now, it also is worth mentioning that it should automatically do this for zombies. If you want to play zombies, if you also want to play the campaign, it is here in zombies because this is what loads up single player to the game. But in case you want to go ahead and just double check, click on game settings again select the directory it should already be here selected call of duty black ops and you're good to go so now that the game's installed you've got it all loaded up all ready to go uh there has been a problem at least here in the testing phase where for some reason the cursor isn't popping up now i want to go ahead and show you guys a quick fix to that you're going to go ahead and open your console with the tilde key i'm going to have this pasted down in the description below but you're going to go ahead and paste this line of code go ahead paste this hit enter and then go ahead and type slash quit and restart the entire game then once you go ahead and load the game back up you should have your cursor 
cursor here all ready to go. Again, it was just a weird bug that we were having here in the testing phases of the game, but it should be all cleared up by now and ready to go. But just in case you guys run into it again, now you guys know the fix. And now, like I said at the start of the video, there is currently no unlock all feature in Pluto T5. Plutonium has mentioned that they will be adding that feature into the game eventually. However, they wanted to give players the opportunity to uh, rank up legitimately if you guys so choose. They are allowing people to host their own servers with unlock all. The only thing is do not inject anything because you will get banned. I know here on Storm server, it's a higher XP. I think he's got like double XP or something going because every time I get a kill on the server, it's like plus 450 for me. So again, for the time being, there is no official unlock all. However, there is still a way to get 15th prestige 50, which essentially is unlock all, but you don't get pro perks, which is the biggest pain in the ass. Pro perks here in BO1 are a complete necessity. They are a pain in the ass to grind for, but they are so worth it. So what you're going to go ahead and do, again, I have this uh, line of code ready for you guys in the description. You're going to go ahead and copy this. Stats set by name, rank 49, rank XP, 9999999, P level 15, stats set by name, COD points, all that stuff, right? However, if you're someone weird like me and you don't want 15th Prestige 50, you want to just uh, kind of rank up normally. You guys may already know this about me, but the 14th Prestige Emblem, in my opinion, is the best Prestige Emblem. So I went ahead and set myself to that. The way that I did that was uh, I scrolled all the way down here to the P level, excuse me. Here to P level, I went ahead and set that to 14. Also, you can do something here where if you want, you can set yourself to level one, uh, stat set by name, rank XP. You could bring this all the way down to zero if you so choose. But because I wanted my L96, I set myself over here to rank 27 and uh, the XP does get a little bit messed up, but what you can do is give yourself like 250,000 XP. If you don't care and you just want to be 15th Prestige 50, go ahead and just hit enter normally as you would. And if you did it right, you would come down here to the player card. You would see your rank. Uh, the XP bar might be messed up and it would, you know, go off the screen like a normal modded thing. As soon as you jump into a game and you start playing it, completing matches and everything like that, if you're someone like me who set yourself to like level 30 or something like that, the XP bar will normalize out. But if you set yourself to 15th prestige, it'll eventually normalize out too. So don't be warned or anything like that if the XP bar goes off screen. I feel like I really don't need to go ahead and cover this, but uh, obviously once you guys go ahead and give yourself the unlock all or you're set to whatever rank you want, go ahead, create a class, you'll have everything on locked in the game you can go ahead and buy your gold camo again though as it stands right now on launch you will have to go ahead and grind out the pro perks legitimately but again at some point in time they will be patching in an unlock all feature to where you won't have to worry about grinding for the pro perks so on that note that should cover everything again if you guys have any questions feel free to go ahead and ask them down in the comment section below i will do my absolute best to answer as many questions as i can again though if i missed anything do go ahead and join it to the plutonium discord they got all the support channels there ready to go ready to help you guys out i mean at some point in time this tutorial might get outdated years and years down the line. So it's absolutely best just to stay up to date with Plutonium by following them on Twitter, joining into their Discord and the X Labs Discord. All these guys, all the developers are some of the smartest dudes that I know. Seriously, just ask them for help. They got you. So again, though, that should have covered absolutely everything. You guys are all free, all ready to go play some Pluto T5, some BO1. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And also, if you guys are interested, feel free to go in and join into my Discord. It's linked down in the description below. So you guys never miss pings when I post new videos here to YouTube, as well as when I go live on Twitch, which by the time this video goes up, I'll more than likely be streaming some Black Ops 1 if you guys want to stop by. Once again, though, I hope the tutorial was straightforward. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you guys did. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Rage, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.